seeing through people is merely a skill but seeing people through is one mantra i have sincerely imbibed over the years hi everyone i am sangeeta motupalli born and brought up in this city of nawabs a hardcore hyderabadi and proud to be one i thank vala subramaniam for this opportunity to share my journey and the challenges that i have faced and how i have overcome them i feel privileged to be sharing this in front of diversified age groups a lot of young i see a lot of young aspiring uh, individuals very inspiring stories i have been listening to so thank you so much for this opportunity so at the golden threshold of life i have lived the five decades heartfully with and among the people i love most i have been an educationist for almost five decades now i have drawn great strength from my parents and immense support from the love of my life my husband my siblings and my children from and formal education standpoint i am a double post graduate msc med and i love being who i am an educationist a networker and now a self awareness teacher and in love with all the interactions all the people interactions that these roles bring to me i started my career as a lecturer in uh, in about uh, say 1990 and having worked for 12 long years there was always an inherent drive in me to be an entrepreneur i always wanted to have something of my own so i went ahead and education being my core passion i went ahead to set up a school so in 2002 i started a primary school in maratpalli area of secunderabad city this school is based between it's based in a school zone in between two slum areas one being asia's biggest slum adagutta so when i started this school children who were seeking admission were coming from extremely low economic backgrounds and almost no or low education backgrounds so left right center i started rejecting the students because my intention was not only to be in service i started the school with an inherent drive i wanted to earn money and you all know that school business is an evergreen business so my intention was obviously to make a decent money from this business but god had different plans for me so must say that this was the turning point in my life where i was not in communion with myself my heart was not happy with what what my mind was making me do and that's where very soon with the support of my family i'm very fortunate to align myself to decide to cater to this set of children who lack the basic needs and resources a average human deserves so i decided to cater to this group of community and that's where my journey started and i would say that starting 7 to 8 years was extremely challenging it was difficult to meet both the ends i was deserving to one of the most deserving yet very very demanding set of students i had to meet both ends and that's where after 7 8 years i started to look for opportunities beyond education so in 2012 exactly 10 years after i started the school and struggling to sustain it i started the second innings of my career as a networker 
this was yet again the best phase of my life and one of the finest decisions that i had made it was a life school where i was being tutored mentored by world class mentors i got connected to me myself i realized the power of dream and my purpose in life so these mentors and coaches they helped they they helped unleash the potential they unleashed the potential and the leader in me and this was exactly what i was doing with my teams in india across india and also outside india so that's where the educationist in me bloomed full time and the coaching came in as the third entrepreneurial drive and that's i invested a lot of time learning unlearning relearning being personally tutored conducting workshops online and offline helping people connect to themselves find their purpose in life and helping them through various issues of anger management stress management conflict management time management and so many other things so i was enhancing helping people enhance and empower them to live life worthy of human existence so what i realized all through is that people live life or people keep expecting change without doing much themselves you see when we keep on doing the same things over and over again obviously the results are going to be the same if we are not very happy with the outcome then what needs to be changed is what we are doing this small reflection it also helps us to do you know re rephrase or it will help us to reconnect and then and then stand strong and take life as we move forward so you see i would like to share that in during this during this phase where i i am a self awareness coach and a mentor to many people one thing that i would like to say is that we think we know ourselves best or better than anyone else but you know the fact and even the psychological studies say different if we know ourselves so much better or we know us we think we know ourselves more than anyone else and yet we crumble at the words of someone who hasn't even lived our life for few seconds i hope you're able to relate to this i'm sure you agree to this that people who haven't even lived our life for few seconds how they could crumble our confidence how they could disturb us and that's where it's so important to focus on our inner voice when we focus on our inner voice and we have the right kind of attitude then every situation in life will help us to grow materially emotionally mentally and spiritually so i would like to share a very short story which will help us to you know to which will help us to you know uh, reframe this particular thing what i want to say so there was one balloon seller and this balloon seller used to go to the beach side every day carrying a set of colored gas balloons so you know at the beach side there are a lot of children and as a strategy to sell his balloons what he would do is these colored balloons he used to leave one by one in the air and when the children got attracted to see that they used to pester their parents to buy those balloons so he had all colors the vibrant colors the red yellow green blue and black so one day a small child goes to this balloon seller and he says does the black balloon also fly and the balloon seller is drawn towards the child and he pulls him up closer and he says why not it's not the color of the balloon it's the gas inside the balloon the helium that makes it fly so you see similarly 
we are all coming from various backgrounds whatever could be our economic background academic background caste creed religion we all have it in us wherever we might be in our attitude positive negative or say in between each of us have it in us to to pull up each of us have it in us to transform our lives and to just rise to fulfillment and success in our lives so if my journey that i had started with say being a lecturer and then the school had i given up in the 6 7 years of my initial days i wouldn't be what i am today i wouldn't be standing here to share my journey so you see it is the attitude the why became so strong when i got connected to my purpose in life when i got connected to why i want to do what i want to do there was no looking back and from there from being a lecturer to being an educationist then taking up network marketing to sustain the school today i am a self awareness teacher where people of diversified ages across countries i am connected to helping them through various issues of life cannot thank god enough for this for this opportunity that he has blessed so something that had started as simply an entrepreneurship wanting to earn money today i think so the kind of blessings that i have earned is priceless so i would only say that there are there are there is a lot of support available in the outside world there are a lot of counselors audios videos books coaches it is to to develop the right set of attitudes it is please i would encourage you all to go out into the world to see which method or method works for you it's very important what is very important is to begin the search get started so thank you very much for this opportunity of sharing thank you one and all